just want to say a few thanks to Alan and Siobhan, I know, uh, sorry. Oh. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short and others are long. Some are not yet written and others, well, they're just getting to the good part. This is Siobhan and Alan's. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that it's inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Siobhan, Alan says, I love her kind and caring nature. She always puts others first. He says, I love her sense of humour. And he says, I love the fact that she still makes me feel special every day. Alan, Siobhan says, Alan is my absolute rock. He would literally do anything for myself and Rory. He gives the best bear hugs in the world. <laughs> Alan is not only my partner, husband, but my best friend. And I'm incredibly lucky to have someone so special in my life. In many cultures, there's a tradition for the bride to be given away, and I know it's been a huge source of pride and pleasure for Siobhan's dad, John, to escort her down the aisle to Alan. And it really has meant so much to Siobhan to be given away by her dad. But in reality, of course, there is no giving away, because you all know that Siobhan and Alan gave their hearts to each other a long time ago. Love is not breathlessness, it's not excitement, it's not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That's just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what's left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. I'd like to remind you that these are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that support, comfort and applaud Rory as he grows. These are the hands that love and will love and cherish you through the years. These are the hands that will continue to hold you in times of fear or grief and with the slightest touch they'll comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when they're wrinkled and aged, they'll still be reaching for yours still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. I, Alan Dewar. I, Alan Dewar. Accept you, Siobhan Gillen. Accept you, Siobhan Gillen. As my wife. As my wife. I, Siobhan Gillen. I, Siobhan Gillen. Accept you, Alan Dewar. Accept you, Alan Dewar. As my husband. following the declarations made before me and in the presence of all of these witnesses, it's now my happy duty, Alan and Siobhan, to pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs>
Everyone that's played a part in the making of this wedding, I can't thank anybody more than I thank my beautiful wife Siobhan. It's just, there has been so much stress in our house for so long now, but she has just taken it in her stride, everything in her stride, and doesn't she just look amazing? Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two.